Hey everybody, it's Jamie here. Welcome to Travel Blog Jamie. Now this weekend, we have come to Chessington World of Adventures. If you're not a UK resident, well, this is one of our more family-friendly theme parks, not too far from London. So we are staying at the Safari Hotel tonight. We've got tickets for two days into the park and world exclusive. We're also here for the opening of a new land, uh, the first ever Jumanji land in the whole world in any theme park. So we've paid £189 for our night's accommodation, uh, breakfast plus park tickets for the two days. You also get parking included. I think that's quite a good deal actually. So let's go and have the best time this weekend. Come with me. Coming up in today's episode, a full tour and review of our accommodation at the Safari Hotel, our experience of lunch in the park, dinner in the hotel and breakfast. We get up close and personal with some of the wildlife, try out all the rides and attractions, experience multiple ride breakdowns, plus the grand opening of the world of Jumanji and its new rides. But before all of that, please do give this video a cheeky little like, subscribe and turn on notifications for my bi-weekly travel vlogs. One of the benefits about staying on site, uh, whether that's the Safari Hotel or the Azteca Hotel, is that you get early entry to the park as well. Um, so today we are allowed in at 9am and it's open to the general public at 10. Suckers! So this is only about 45 minutes from home actually. I'm surprised we haven't been for so long. Oh, we've got jungle music. Alrighty, so I've just parked. Uh, checking out the hotel is not till 4 p.m. But we're here for early entry. So I believe we're gonna head straight through the lobby area and we should be able to access the park from the other side. There you go. Head into the theme park and zoo for early ride time. Yes, we are. Please enter via Azteca gate. All right, well, I'm assuming that's this way. Look, Mafu has joined us. Right, so I believe, let's have a look. Where are we going? Through the Azteca Hotel, I think. Venture this way. You got it. Oh, the excitement. I do love a theme park, as you know. So we have early ride time, as I said, between nine and 10, and we can access those attractions. Fabulous. Right, we've got our wristband to show we are hotel guests and we have early access. Matthew always struggles with these kind of wristbands. Look, he has to stop. He has to think. He's got to concentrate. Could be there some time. Security, security. Ooh, sexy. Mm-mm. Oh, look, I was going Spider-Man. Oh, look, little monkeys. Matthew's a little monkey. It's like a great rope course here. Oh, this is a really cool entrance, actually. You've got some animal exhibits as well. Mama sets over there. Uh, we've got one minute until park opening for hotel guests. We've got runners. We've got rope drop runners. Be careful, please, folks. Oh, it's awesome getting here so early, folks. This is a great benefit of staying in the hotel. We are going to head for the Vampire Coaster number one. Oh, I see coaster track. Awesome. Oh look, we've got blood for water. Oh, it's very vampiric, isn't it? Entrance, it says closed, surely not. And literally just like that, open. In we go. Now where's the fun in doing that? We're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make it. Oh, we made it. Ready, wait for it, wait for it. Here they come. Come on, scream louder for me. So I am a big fan of vampires, not just because oh, not just because of the speeds and the swinging, but the fact that you actually glide over the rooftops, um, through the trees, over the trees. It's a really pretty ride, actually, uh, and some good thrills. I'm a fan. Here they go. Have fun, everybody. Oh, by the way, I recommend sitting near the back so you can fly over those hills. Oh, push me. Got to do these things, aren't you? No line, loving the no lines. 
These boats are wet. I thought this was like a gentle ride. Am I wrong? Oh, it's just like the Navi River ride at Animal Kingdom Disney World, isn't it? <laughs> Not. Look, Matthew is mesmerized. Naughty. Yeah, you. You see, there is such a thing as a gruffalo after all, everybody. Oh, 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 don't get me wet, don't get me wet. Oh, no! Oh. All right, you're gonna get wet on this ride. You know what though, I love the way the boats just continuously spin, not too fast or anything, not vomit inducing. Good fun, I like it. Oh, here we go again. Oh, no! He got wet. I got wet. Ruffalo crumble. It's so quiet so far. Yeah. Love that. Thank you, Costa. Alrighty, you tried to go back on the vampire, but it broke. I uh, wanted to go on Dragon's Fury, but it won't open. And we are now waiting to go into Wild Asia, but it's late opening. <laughs> Great. Oh, it's the security guard that opens like really slowly. We got runners. We're stuck on Cobra, not working. <laughs> oh, and look, they're stuck on Monkey Swinger. So that's four rides not working already. Well, we managed the Vampire before it broke down. Uh, couldn't get on it again. Then we couldn't get on Dragon's Fury, it's broken. And then we're on Cobra and it's broken while we're on it. And Monkey Swinger, they're still left hanging. Oh my goodness, we're still here. I think it would be helpful if they just closed the line. They've kept it open and they keep having to tell people to go back. Just put closed on it. Easy. And they're kicking this off now. About a half hour. <laughs> well, 45 minutes have passed. Uh, we did manage to ride it, but oh, painful. <laughs> Over you go! Woo! You made it! Oh look, these poor monkey swingers, they've been up there for 45 minutes already. Help us! Are you alright up there? Are you alright? Oh look, there's an engineer in the pit. That is so cool. Sorry everybody up there, I hope you're okay. Oh my god, even the dodgems are broken. What is going on in this park? Oh well at least the bus is working. Exciting. All right, let's see if anything's open in the land of the tiger. Let's do this. Let's get back soon. Hang on a minute. Don't tell me that's closed as well. We just saw... No. It's closed. What? Well, it says back soon, not open. We're going to join the line anyway. There were some people on the boat earlier. I'm trying to remain patient, folks. You know me, I'm known for my patience, aren't I? But the operations here are terrible. Look at this, seriously, the slowest load ever. They're just letting cars and cars and cars go by. It's just terrible. We made it on, at last. Oh my God. I'm on a boat. Oh, oh, oh. oh! What be around this corner? Oh, blue sky coming, hurrah! Is this the big one? Is this the big one? So you might actually think you don't need to remind people to keep uh, in their seats, but actually we've already seen various people standing up in the log. Shame on you. Here we go. Oh. Squirters, little squirters, look. <laughs> come on, come and get us if you can. Woo! You naughty people. Not seen any tigers yet at Tiger Rock. That is quite a fun water ride though, like that. 
Oh look, pasties in wild Asia. <laughs> Still very colourful here, like that. Lots of green. Oh, look, how cool is that? Just going over the pathway. Hey, baby. Look, Love you. Well, they got those people off and they are now testing, testing, testing. Dragon's Fury still down, but now testing at last. Yay, at last. Please don't break before we get on it. Oh, Mandrill Mayhem got its first riders. Enjoy everyone. I'll see you tomorrow. We're hungry. Where to eat? Unlimited pizza, pasta and salad, sounds good. Or oh, the smokehouse? Mm -mm. We're going for unlimited pizza, pasta and salad. Unfortunately, we can't get in yet because the, and I'm not joking you, the till isn't working. <laughs> We're in. Refill mug, tiny plate. I'm going to be coming up again and again and again. Look how tiny it is. Salad bar. We've got bacon bits, croutons, crispy onions, and chili flakes as well. We've got loads of pizzas out here, actually. Not going to be waiting very long for that. And I can see there's pasta at the very end. All right, the plate test. There's enough room for two slices of pizza, a tiny, tiny bit of garlic bread, and a little bit of salad. Just give bigger plates, you know? Margarita test. Hmm. Okay, so not the best base I've ever eaten. But actually, the tomato and the mozzarella are delicious, so I like that. And you're all like, oh my god, he said something positive. I did start the day off positive, by the way, but there's been a lot of issues here, I've got to say, a lot. Get your refills here, folks, and make sure you get your money's worth, please. Plate number two. Serving number three. Yep, number four. How many plates of that have you had, Jamie? There you go, theme park food at Chessington World of Adventure. Okay, so it wasn't so bad, £17.50 per adult. Uh, it feels like quite a lot, but actually, you know, pile that plate up as often as you want. And of course you get your refills for drinks as well, which is worth its weight in gold. Bienvenidos a Mexicana. Right, this is Rattlesnake. There's literally one car going around the track and there's only two people in it. Operational issues. Look, someone even tweeted me about the inaccurate wait times for Rattlesnake. All right, time for croc drop. I said croc drop, drop, oh my God. <laughs> Not on yet because the um, attendants, um, not on just yet, the attendants are struggling with counting. So we've got people in our seats. God, I'm so grumpy, aren't I? It's a really nice day, it's sunny, it's warm. We've got people screaming, it's lovely. All right, let's try again. Take two. Right, we survived Croc Drop. I'm gonna rename it Croc of Shite. <laughs> Let's have a go at Tomb Blaster, shall we? So most of the rides, we are literally arriving at by accident because there's not much signage in this park. Oh my gosh, I'm moaning still. And also, can I just say, people smoke in anywhere they want. I know they have designated areas, but they are not being adhered to. And you know, the 13 year olds that are employed here, I'm sure they're at least 16. Um, <laughs> they would never ask someone to go to a designated area. Blech. No idea if this is the line because the this way sign was sort of half open, half closed. 
the arrow sort of going pointing towards nowhere yeah that's just typical like literally sent us all the way around there whereas we could have gone through that door never mind so i feel bad for the operator here she's completely on her own having to put the bars down lift them back up again because of people wanting to move all their bags there you go next train bars up bars down bars up bars down <laughs> Hurrah, our chariot awaits. What the hell are we gonna blast in here though? I'm coming for you. Where's the mummy? Hello, mummy. Hello. Pew, 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 right in the eye. Pew, pew, pew. We going on safari, everybody. Awesome. Pinky discover on your train. If you've got any cameras, you won't be able to stop. You like a rough ride? This is you. Oh my god! <laughs> this is so rough. Oh, thank god we've stopped. You need to tarmac your roads, mate. Road, as tall as six meters. Mathel just said it's like going around a school field <laughs> with, animals, <laughs> with animals. Well, gently does it. Oh, well, that's a good close up of the rhino, actually. Yeah. Beauty, come and say hello. Come on, little thing. Oh, help me, Jesus, please. <laughs> Uh, well, nothing happened then, but it was nice to be inside a cave, I suppose. And that's it. Yeah, I do want a debrief. I want to know what the hell just happened. <laughs> so you essentially go around in a little circle, um, and on that circle you've got some giraffe and rhinoceros. And then you go in a cave, and then nothing happens. That's it. Don't line up very long for a zoofari, please, I beg of you. Look, Matthew's right in there. He loves a pirate ship. He's like, come on, come on, Jamie. Oh, we were going to go on the vampire again because it's posted as 15. However, the line is literally most of the way back uh, to the entrance. So therefore, it's going to be, what, an hour and a half? I don't know how their timings are so wrong here. <laughs> Quick pit stop for a little drink. Matthew obviously ordered some fries as well can't help himself i tell you this eatery is right by the vampire with its lying wait time <laughs> i know you think i'm doing this on purpose we've been here some time there were no drink or fries uh oh i saw someone move then <laughs> i don't know what's happening here oh thank god there's food coming out now yes there he comes there you go. That's a large Coke Zero. No ice, damn it. Oh, God, look, right in there. At least these are cooked freshly, nice and hot. Gruffalo's got a long line now, but there's no wait time showing. The app does have the wait times, although they are completely inaccurate, folks. Oh, closed. Oh, hello, my darlings. Hello, are you right? A little stroke? Oh, beauties. Oh, look, they're kissing. Or cleaning, or feeding, or doing something grim. Biting. Bite, fighting, biting. Yes. Oh, no, you be. Oh, my goodness me, what are you doing? I just want you to peace out, love each other. Spider monkeys. Hurrah, Sea Life Center. Oh, it's closed, but you can go to the shop. Hey, baby. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, can I take you home? All right, we're heading out. We've had a text to say that our uh, room is ready. I know what you're all going to say to me. Grumpy old man you're going to say, aren't you? Um, why aren't you enjoying yourself more? How lucky are you to be able to do things like this? That's what you were going to say to me. 
Matthew's laughing because he knows it's true. I'm sorry, but this was just such an underwhelming experience. Um, and if you can't see why from what I've filmed, then shame on you. <laughs> uh, I still love theme parks. I just prefer the ones in America. Sorry, can't wait to get back to Florida this summer. Anyway, let's go and see what the Chessington Hotel is all about. You'll receive a very helpful text message and an email with all the details to help you check in. All right, we are Safari Hotel. So I believe they have machines in here and uh, you can just put in your uh, code that they text. There they are, look. And then hopefully your door card will just pop out. Pick up my key. Pick up code. Oh, look who it is. Yeah, so a lady's just saying, make sure you take two cards as well because one operates the electricery and what have you in the room. Ta-da! And there's our room number as well. Thanks very much. Thanks for your help. Look, he's off like a rat. 308, here we come. Can I just say that is a really, oh, that is a really cool key card. Love it. It's actually quite nice in here. I like it. I like all the natural light. Ah, oh, and that's the Wanyanamamamamama Reserve. I don't think we have a view today. That's the safari restaurant down there. We're having dinner later and breakfast, of course. Ah, there's all sorts of animals out there. We'll have a peep later. That's called the Savannah Lookout. All right, let's see what our room is like. 308. Alrighty, let's check out our room 308. First up, and most importantly, please do put your key card here to operate the electricery. Now then, on the left-hand side, as you come in, we have um, some storage space. Here, we've got two good side shelves, actually, some hanging space, and you've got plenty of room there for any bags or cases. Um, oh, excuse me. And then we've got our coffees and teas, because we love that over here, don't we? Um, some hot chocolate as well for your kids or your adults. Oh my goodness me, sorry, I'm showing my smalls and another shelf here. To the right, we have another wardrobe space. There's another shelf up here, more hanging space. Plus, thank goodness me, we've got an iron and ironing board. Thank you, Chessington. Our aircon unit, much appreciated. Now, you might think this is quite dark and why haven't I put on any more lights? Because there aren't any. Um, I don't know if this is going for uh, the realistic, uh, authentic safari experience. Uh, probably not actually, but this is as much light as we're getting. Okay, so we've got a king size bed. Uh, I'll let you know how I sleep later. You might be wondering if there are any sockets either side of the bed. The answer is quite simply no, unfortunately not. Opposite the bed, good size TV. We've got a unit here. I'm assuming there is some storage space. Yep, two shelves there. And if we're in luck, we will have a fridge. We do have a fridge. No freezer though, please. Note, there's no freezer. Luggage rack there on the left. Uh, good size dresser, uh, a chair on wheels, which is perfect. I'm gonna wheel myself around this room later in circles, 360s. You think I'm joking? I'm not joking. Uh, we've got a telephone and look, two sockets. Uh, no USB ports actually, those are for um, telephone cables. There's one other socket there and that's it. So for five people, that's not a great deal of socketage. We have a very small mirror here. Uh, that's all you're gonna get in the bedroom area, I'm afraid. Now then, we've got two drawers, either side of this chair. I don't think there's anything in them. Any Bible? Any Bible? No. On the side, don't miss out, we've got a hairdryer. Yes, you know what's coming. Two speed settings and three for heat. Let's try setting number one. Setting number two. Not a bad blow. Alrighty, we've got a small unit either side of the bed for your bits and bobs, odds and sods. We've got a bunk bed. I kind of fancy sleeping up there later. Uh, you watch, I'll be up there. And down here, there is a pull-out bed as well. I also fancy rolling around the room on that. So there you go. This room absolutely does sleep five. And I think it's certainly big enough to sleep five as well. Now then, two thirds of the window is actually filtered with this 
gorgeous rainforest scene and I think that's because of the not so beautiful view. Uh, you can actually see though in the bottom left hand corner some old coaster track and actually those are old cars from Dragon's Fury so that's kind of cool. Um, but you're not going to get a view of the savannah from here folks. You need to pay extra for that and I have cheaped out. <laughs> Right, let's have a look at the bathroom area. You never know what's lurking. I always say that. Oh, what on earth is that? Poor Matthew? Poor Matthew. Go on, out you get. Your time in there is done. That's it, off you go. I mean, where do you expect him to go when I'm filming? I know, I'm just cruel. All right, we've got good size sink basin. There's plenty of storage space around that for your toiletries. Um, a decent sized mirror in here. Hi everybody, it's Jamie here. We will check out that shower shortly. How many people do you think we are gonna fit in that? We'll find out. Um, obviously you've got towels here. These uh, amenities come included. Now the best way I can describe the smell of that is uh, cheap soap. You've been warned, make sure you bring your own. I don't think that's actually very high quality. Toilet, one cheap, two cheap, rah, rah, rah. Let's have a look at the shower situation. Well, uh, this is good in that you could actually use this as a bath. That's my own, by the way, because it's gorgeous. Oh, by the way, that's what I use. Uh, my hair needs nourishing with coconut and macadamia shampoo. It's gorgeous. In fact, I often want to eat it. Um, so I'm not sure how powerful this is going to be, how hot it's going to be. We'll try it out later. How many people could you fit in here? I am guessing three at a push. And from a different angle, I want you to see this bathroom from every perspective. Uh, it's practical, it's functional, not the nicest I've ever seen, but it's going to be absolutely fine. We'll test that shower out later, okay? And there we go, folks. That is uh, a king size bed with bunks. Standard view and a Matthew. So, whilst this room is perfectly acceptable and it's clean, thank you very much. Uh, the furniture is definitely aging and quite scuffed actually. So, it could do with a refurb, I'm afraid, Chessington. Can I just say, if this is the first time you've ever watched any of my vlogs, you're gonna think I'm just a grumpy old man. Can you please watch some of my others? Cause I'm actually really, 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 really positive most of the time. <sighs> How remiss of me on the bunk beds, on the pillows. Look, you've got Dairy Milk Freddo, Froggy. Ah, uh, they're for the kids. I don't have any, so there's the one down here as well. God, we're not having children. Time to head out and explore the hotel. Let's have a little peep, see if you can see any animals. So those are the views you'd have if you uh, opted for a savannah room. Obviously that's gonna cost you more. Oh, it's Zufari, gotcha. That's literally the, the whole circle of Zufari. That's all you do, look how slow they go. Looks very inviting down there, actually, folks, I must say. I do quite like this hotel. The rooms need a refurb, but the um, communal areas, so far, so good. Oh, my God, if I had children, I absolutely would tell them there are lions in this hotel, and if they made too much noise, they were going to get eaten up. That's the Zafari restaurant. We are booked in there for dinner. Oh, that's the bar. It says bar and grill. Aha, let's keep going this way. Oh, this is quite cool. Matthew said there's a nice bar around this corner. He better be right. He's probably like, I'm always right. All right, this is a nice bar. <laughs> I like this. Oh, awesome. Look, oh, I wonder if you can go outside. Yes, you can, fantastic. I think this is done really nicely, actually, folks. You see, I'm not always grumpy. And you're like, yeah, but it's just because it's a bar. <laughs> I'm not that shallow. Let's have a quick look at the bar tariff. They've got some cocktails here, actually. Look, mojito, espresso, martini, porn star. Hello, darling. Hello. All right, let's have a look out here. Oh, outdoor area. Oh, this is quite nice, actually. Where are the animals? Apart from that one there. Cheers, Matthew. Happy Chessington days. You seem a bit happier now at the bar. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Oh, this is definitely a lot more relaxing than what we experienced earlier today. Actually, very pleasant here. Uh, quite enjoying this hotel. 
I recognise them from Animal Kingdom Lodge in Walt Disney World. Hello, baby. Come and say hi. If you're using the hotel car park, which, by the way, is included in the price of your overnight stay, you're going to need to collect a ticket from reception to exit. If you want to spend a little bit more on your room, you can actually get a Jumanji room down here, look. And they look a little bit like this. Hurrah, it's dinner time. A safari. Little peep at the menu for you folks. Kind of bog standard sort of hotel food by looks of it, but will it taste good? And on the other side, plus for little explorers. Matthew always says I'm tiny, but there's no way I'm having a tiny uh, plate of food. Thank you very much. Right, well, the service has been a little bit painful. Both our drinks were incorrect, took a while to order, and my starter of tomato soup has come, which is great, but it's come along with Matthew's main. Uh, so I'll be eating on my own later. Great. <laughs> Let's hope it tastes good. Here he goes. He's trying to find his chicken. Where's the chicken? It's in the bottom. Oh, it is there. Yeah. Matthew says nice burger, but look at the size of that tomato. That's really too big for a burger. All right, there, folks. Those fries, they are really good. Win, win, win. So I finished my starter. They brought my main. They literally just plunked it there and left all the old plates here i'm like can you take that away please wow all right so this is um I, it looks like tagine but actually it should be a chicken curry Ta -da! Oh, it smells good actually chicken curry bhaji naan and a little bit of salad oh we got a little shop by the leisure center can't get into the pool to have a look i'm afraid um but there is a window here so you can have a peek but clothes for sale Funny little creatures. Quite cute, really, aren't they? Ah, you've got some drinks here as well. Oh, they've got all sorts here as well. Uh, shorts, goggles, ah, amenities. And we've got a gym in here. Small, but perfectly formed. Obviously not very busy. Well, that is day one done at Chessington World of Adventures. And what an adventure it's been. Um, I don't think we finished on our high with our meal. The food was fine. Uh, it's really expensive for what you get. Uh, and actually the service, the people were very nice. However, um, they didn't seem to know how to run a restaurant. Uh, it was very frustrating. It was a frustrating way to end uh, an already very inconsistent day. However, there's always tomorrow, isn't there? And we've got a new land, Jumanji, opening tomorrow, new rides. Um, so I'm going to do a little reset of the little Jamie mind <laughs> and I'm going to wake up in a really good mood, going to go for a, hopefully a lovely breakfast um, at the Zafari Bar and Grill. Oh, I think it's self-serve, so actually no one can do anything wrong tomorrow. So if anything goes badly, it's my fault, okay? Anyway, time to um, start settling down for the night. Mwah. Good morning, everybody. Mind reset. I'm ready to go. I'm in a positive frame of mind. I slept quite well. A little bit warm in the room. Uh, Aircon is not super cool. Uh, the window doesn't open very much, but it was fine. And I'm pleased to report back that whilst the shower is not the most powerful, it was super, super hot. Lovely. Thank you, Jesus. We have got a socket situation going on here, folks. Um, both of us have been trying to charge our phones using the one, two, three sockets available, and none of them seem to have a very powerful voltage because overnight our phones have not charged beyond 46%. Oh my goodness me. I don't think I mentioned to you, did I? The lift is actually a hot air balloon. That's exactly what you want for a lift, isn't it, folks? Right, breakfast time. Take me down, goddammit. Well, there's more animals in this lift than was on that Zufari ride. <laughs> well, 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 I think I'm the first one here. It's about 10 past 7 a.m. Right, so you're gonna help yourself to hot drinks and juices over here. We have a lavazza coffee, a grazie. And then it's a help yourself jobby over here. You've got your fruits and yogurts. We've got all of our hot food as well some pastries, muffins, breads, toaster. There's fruit down there and cereals as well. Looks absolutely fine to me, folks. Oh, look, mini omelets over there as well. Oh, the hash browns look nice and crispy. 
and some veggie sausages down here. Uh, please do excuse the background noise. Uh, I just wanted to show you the other wing of the hotel, which is the Azteca Hotel. They have their own restaurant and bar here. This one is more um, a sort of carvery, self-serve jobby. And a quick peep inside. I'm good to you like that, folks. So a small bar, small bar area, before you get to the temple restaurant, which looks a little bit like this. So definitely a different feel in here, as you can see. We're talking temples, we're talking Aztecs, we're talking uh, monkeys. Same sort of fare here for breakfast, as you can see. Um, there's more sort of open plan um, self-serve here, which I suppose works better because that's how they do things in the evenings as well, if you're here for your dinner. And at Azteca, you also have your own arcade. Win big or go home. By the way, why do you always have to go home if you don't win something? Why can't you just stay out and enjoy yourself? Here we go, early entry into the park and opening day for the brand new Land of Jumanji. Coming up in today's exclusive vlog, we experience the grand opening of the world of Jumanji at Chessington World of Adventures. UK's newest coaster, Mandrill Mayhem, two new flat rides, plus food and beverage options. Do this! So Vampire is officially off the early entry list for hotel guests, replaced by Mandrill Mayhem. Thank you, Chessington. Hey, hey, hey! Looking Hello, good. A ride exit and of course it wouldn't be a ride exit without a shop so i've been on mandrel mayhem three times in our early access uh different seats each time which was great experience every ride therefore felt very different depending on whether you were near the front uh the middle or the back and also the side you're on as well is it the most thrilling coaster i've ever ridden or the most thrilling wing coaster around the world no but it definitely has some very unique elements. The launches, uh, going backwards, the shuttle sensation, uh, heading towards the end of the track. Loved all of that. Um, definitely one of the best coasters in Chessington. Uh, so definitely recommend it. I am gonna go one more time. I've got one more minute of early ride access. Might as well make the most of it. It 
was awesome. I didn't realize because uh, I was on the very last train um, for hotel guests. And so they've had another official opening to the general public. So uh, our train was held a little bit until they did the official opening ceremony with the fireworks, uh, all the smoke and so on that you saw earlier. So we were passing over the top of the big crowd uh, when the fireworks went off and so on. It was so cool. Now that was a moment, I'm very pleased about that. Yes, thank you. Jesus. But be prepared for potentially very long waits. Uh, it's only dispatched five times in the whole hour. Anyway, a very good solid addition to the park. Oh yeah, hit them boys. And now open to the general public. Sorry folks, I've done it three times already this morning. That's one massive benefit of staying in a hotel with this new land opening. Unless you are a hotel guest enjoying early access to the park and Mandrill Mayhem, you're going to need to join a virtual queue. You can do that via the app or the website. Make sure you don't miss out. This is what the app looks like and all the information about Mandrill Mayhem. Whilst the ride is pretty much family friendly, do check out the ride restrictions in advance. If you're not staying on site at a Chessington hotel and therefore you don't have early access to the park and indeed the world of Jumanji and its rides, here's all the information you need to know about securing your ride by accessing the virtual line. This is the brand new Mamba Strike. Look out for the snake. Oh, there it is. Hi. I mean, I think that's fair enough, isn't it? If you're going to stand under a moving vehicle, you're going to get damaged. Whoops. So I can't start the ride because they can't get out of the gate. We got some teething issues, as you would expect on an opening day. Yeah, I'm going to come back later and show you this. If you're looking to ride Mamba Strike, check out those all important ride restrictions first. And the other new ride here in Jumanji is Ostrich Stampede. Check out those restrictions if you're looking to ride Ostrich Stampede. Oh my god, I feel like I'm in Walt Disney World again. Giant turkey leg. Just pretty standard snacks here. Holy shawarma, folks. That's not cheap, is it? In summary, Chessington is really onto a winner with its new world of Jumanji. It's likely to take a little bit of time to manage the operations of the new coaster in particular, but it's a lot of fun and with less stringent height restrictions, it's bound to appeal to families. I'm not such a fan of the two new flat rides in the area. I think they're just a little bit too carnival-esque for my liking. However, again, they seem to go down very well with families. One thing I'd like to see in this new land are improved food and beverage options. I'm not sure there's anybody in the rest of the park yet. We'll find out, won't we? Um, I can tell you that Dragon's Fury is not open. What a surprise! Oh my gosh. There's literally nobody in the rest of the park. Is anything open? Oh yeah, Cobra's going. Anyone stuck? Not yet. All right, rush hour at Chessington on opening day of Jumanji. Everywhere else, quiet as. All right, Rattlesnake is indeed open. Uh, none of the lines from yesterday, so I'm gonna have a go. All right, no line, excellent. Do you know what? There's a lot of hidden uh, hills in that and airtime. I actually really like that. One of the superior wild mouses, mice, wild mice on the planet. Did I just say mouses? Holy macaroni. Vampire will have me this morning. What's the wait time like? Have fun, everybody. Posted at 15 minute wait on within 10. That's more like it, Chessington. Thank you. Oh, look, it's a poor man's Dumbo. 
sorry, everybody. Right, let's try Croc of Shite again. Five minutes, apparently. Oh, Alrighty, that was definitely a five minute wait. Thank you, everybody. Oh, my favorite bit of the whole ride, like, woo! You know what, folks? Whatever my thoughts are on this park, you can't deny there's a lot to do here in a day. I'll give them that. And um, the kids seem to be loving it. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. And there you have two days at Chessington World of Adventures, including the grand opening of the World of Jumanji. If you've ever been to this theme park, please do share your experiences below. And if you have any questions, drop those below and I'll get back to you. As you can see from this vlog, our personal experience was one of great inconsistency and we're not sure we'd be rushing back to this park. But look, as always, thanks for watching and don't forget to follow Travel Blog Jamie on Twitter, Instagram and YouTube.